This video is for the second day of scientific notation. So scientific notation to standard notation. What do we need to think about? A positive exponent is telling you to move the decimal to the right. So in 2.39 times 10 to the fifth, you're gonna move it to the right. One, two, three, four, five spaces. And so for every blank little loop that you have, you have to fill in a zero. So you would have 239,000. A negative exponent is telling you to move the decimal to the left. So this one's a negative. So I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four spots to the left and again fill in my zeros. Standard notation to scientific notation. What do we need to think about? Move decimal to make the number in the ones place value greater than one but less than 10. So for 2016, the decimal's right here. So I wanna move that where the value in or the digit in the ones place is between one and 10. So I would move it to the right of the two and I moved it three spots so I would tack on times 10 to the third. So in point zero, 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 0.0009, I wanna move it, not before the nine, but just to the right of the nine, because I wanna be able to write nine times 10 to the negative fourth. So you don't wanna have point 0.9 times 10 to the negative third. That decimal needs to be to the right of that nine. So if you start with a whole number, your exponent will be positive. If you start with a decimal smaller than one, your exponent will be negative. 